Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the Let me dry them up. Too cool. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch you know. in. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be sharing with you how to prepare some sweet and sour sliced fish. So right here I've got me a few pieces of slice. I think this is silver snapper, snapper, any form of snapper, kingfish. There's those fish are firm fish. You can use those. So these are all cleaned and washed. What I'm going to be doing is drying them a little bit extra and I'm going to be just seasoning them with some salt and black pepper if you are a person that uses powdered seasons you can just go right ahead and get your um, seasoning done okay just do that I'm gonna be drying them from side to side and I'm gonna be putting them on this plate okay so I have my salt here right here and I'm gonna be salting them a little bit from side to side my oil is over here being preheated right there in my skillet I'm gonna preheat my oil and I'm gonna be using a few pegs of garlic to infuse this oil you know fish yeah, so I want some garlic to infuse it. Also, I'm going to be adding my black pepper from side to side. You know, not too light and, you know, not too extra, just reasonable. So, this is what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be just rubbing them up, turning them over in this little salt and black pepper. This is definitely just what I am using. Okay, so... I ain't gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing this. The, the weather is so at family. And you got to be careful, you know, getting these little pieces in. Yeah. Whilst the oil gets preheated and gets all infused with that garlic right there. Okay? This part is the part I like the best. I don't know if you know about that. If you know about that, tell me what you know about this chunky part here. Yeah. So you just do like this. And remember even though it's sliced you gotta be careful how you run your hands or your fingers along these this is what i'll be doing so this is my seasoning of my fish i'm gonna leave it until my garlic has infused in my oil and i'll come back and then i'll start frying them off so at this point i'll be removing my garlic i don't want them to get any browner we don't want the garlic to burn in the oil because that taste is not the taste that anybody would love burnt garlic so gently my oil is reasonably heated you don't want to eat it too much either for it to start frying too fast and then the fish is not properly cooked and try to get them in there and then we are going to be frying them at this medium pace i've said to you many times when you are ready your fish is ready to be turned it will flip once you touch it and try to flip it will flip don't be pushing under rugged once the fish is properly fried it will release itself from the bottom of the skillet or the pot and make sure that your skillet or your pot or your frying pan is of a thick consistency and these are fried from side to side i will return we are going to be putting this sweet and sour little gravy together mind you i have already pre-prepared my sweet and sour sauce and i know you're gonna say oh debbie why you didn't show me now there is a video there on the channel i'm gonna leave the link for you in the description to get this little homemade sweet and sour sauce all made all you gotta do is have your little touch your little ginger your little extra garlic i'll be adding a little oyster sauce put your little touch but don't go too much to take away that sweet and sour sauce so when my fish is ready 
We'll come back and we're going to start putting this sauce, show you how you get it down together. I'm going to use a few strips of this yellow bell pepper, this green one, of course onions, and I'm going to be using a few strips of carrots to put it together. I'll catch you then. So I'll fry from side to side, okay? So you treat, you, as I said to you on prior fried fish videos fam, you don't fry your fish on too much of it. I eat rushing it. Just like, you know, a little above medium going on, very to high, but not fully high. And then when your fish is ready to turn, as soon as you put your whatever under it, it, it lifts. You don't have to be like, you know, like a pushing and choking. You don't do that, you know? So these are nicely fried and all of that. My skillet here is pretty hot. So I'm gonna give it some time to cool down. I've already made my carrot sticks, my bell peppers, not a lot. And I've had a few pieces of scotch bonnet. Don't mind the seeds. They seem to be really like, I don't know, but they have to eat in them. I've got my onion rings here. And they have also got my sweet and sour sauce. Okay. And when my skillet is cooled on, I remove most of the oil. And then we'll come to put this sweet and sour sliced fish together. So I've removed most of the oil, if not all. Just a little to keep the bottom right there. I've added my little condiment. I'm going to get my heat up high. And I'm going to use these to release all that flavor from the bottom there that we fried the fish in. Ain't going to do that for long time. Hmm? Yeah. I'm going to get it turned down a bit. Now it's time to put my sweet and sour sauce in there. Wow, this is so cool. Now that I've added my sweet and sour sauce, I want to turn my flame down. Okay? So, this is my sweet and my sour sauce with my little condiments that I have. Taking it down real slow right there. Yeah, because we're going to put now our fish. You see my fish? Look at that. Okay. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to let it go a little whilst I scoop some of this sweet and sour. Put it onto it. Remember to get your stove down at this point to low so you want to coat up them. Therefore, you know that you your fish must be really firm right here because you want to get it all mixed and mingled up in this, you know, amalgamated in this. Um, if Yes, there is such a word. I don't know if the context is right, but yes. <coughs> Sorry, family, my, my, my scotch bonnet is coming out. Now it's the time to put the onion rings right over. I did have my ginger and all of that, but I'm going to do, yes, lots and lots of onion rings. We like it that way with our fish. Okay, we're going to leave it on the top right there. All of that. We want a thick, nice, rich sauce. And we're going to get our little onion rings all infused in there. At this point, you must know the flavor of your sauce. Look here, this is a skillet on its own. It didn't come with a, a, a lid. So at this point, look at that. I'm just going to sprinkle a little kit bit of a black pepper just to give my little onion rings, you know, a little, a little lift. You see them there. You see what black pepper has done? A little extra black pepper. What I'm going to do also is put, look at that, look at that slow. Look at this, look at this. You're doing it really slow. So I'm going to go now and put my lid on and I'm going to leave in it for another about Two minutes on the low whilst I go prepare something to put with this sweet and sour sliced fish. This is easy, baby. You don't want to be in the kitchen for long.
all done and dusty here and I've, I'm serving it up with a small amount of white rice, cucumbers and sliced tomatoes and we have got some lettuce. Giving it a piece that you like. I hope you do like it as I do. Plating up some just for you. I'm gonna get some of these bell peppers. Look at this nice rich sauce. You know, remember we put them at the bottom and these um, carrot sticks. So we are gonna get some up and we are gonna finish plating up and come back to you. There you have it, family, from my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all, to your stomach. It is sweet and sour sliced fish done just for you. Please do enjoy. Remember to make sure that you're liking up the videos. Remember to make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure when you subscribe, hit the bell, press the option that says all. Therefore, you'll be notified each time a video is posted. Um, thanks for the love. Thanks for the support once more. Remember to check out our merch store. The link is in the description or will be in the description. Patreon link is there. PayPal, you know them all. Thanks for loving. Thanks for supporting. The time is out. We are coming with easy, squeezy dishes to keep us out of the kitchen. Remember, most of all, to be you, do you, and love you. Some sweet and sour sliced fish. Easily done.